Okay, so now that I've gone, gone through your active, passive, and resisted range of motion testing, there was no limitations uh, at the hip or um, anything that was reoccurring the pain. So I'm going to be going through a couple of manual muscle testing and um, the muscles that attach at the hip and assist with hip movements. So I'm going to begin with your hamstrings. And so what I'm going to be doing is for semimembranosus and tendinosus, I'm going to have your the patient's leg a little bit less than 90 degree flex, and I'm going to have them medially rotated. And then I'm going to be turn, pushing them into extension, and they're going to resist my movement for five seconds. Okay, and down. So that would be a grade five. And then next I'm going to be doing biceps more. So what I'm going to be doing is the difference between semimembranosus and biceps femoris is um, this time I'm going to have them laterally rotated and I'm going to be once again trying to push them into extension. So don't let me move you. And then also be a great five. So next I'm going to be testing the gluteus maximus muscle. So what you're going to have you do is you're going to have your patient flex his knee and bring his leg off the table as far as he can in extension. And you're gonna be driving them back into flexion. So don't let me move you. Two, three, four. So next I'm gonna be testing glute media. So you're gonna have your patient sideline. And because this is a two directional, um, you're gonna have the hip flexed about 30 degrees abduction and you want their leg laterally rotated. And what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be trying to push them into adduction and a little bit flexion. So don't let me move you. And relax. So that would be a great five. Okay, so next I'm going to be testing glute min. And so the difference between this and medius is they're going to be at a neutral position between flexion and extension and um, still again at that 30 degrees abduction. And so the only difference is I'm once again going to be pushing them into abduction but also trying to drive them into extension. Let me move you and relax. So again, that's a great five. Go. Uh, so now I'm going to be testing tensor fascia lata. So what you're going to have me do is you're going to uh, position your patient in about 30 degrees flexion with lateral rotation. And it's not always necessary that you stabilize, but it's preferred that you stabilize the opposite hip. And what you're going to do is, once again, this is a two-directional, so I'm going to be trying to push them into extension, and um, I'm going to be trying to push them towards the midline, so adduction. So don't let me move you. And relax. So once again, that'd be a great five. So now I'm going to be testing sartorius, and this it works in three different motions. So first you want to position your patient. Um, on their backs and you want them to hold the table for support and what you're going to have them do is have their hip flex um, they're going to be laterally rotated and their knees are also going to be flexed and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing three different motions so I'm going to be doing adduction medial rotation and trying to push them into extension okay and so I want you to resist my movement And that'd be a great five. Okay, so next I'm going to be ta uh, testing your medial rotators at the hip. And since you can't isolate them, we just group them as a whole and test all of the medial rotators together. So to begin, I'm just going to have you cross your arms. You don't want the patient grabbing onto the table because it'll give them extra power. And I'm going to place my hand at the lateral aspect of the bottom of the leg. And I'm going to be trying to draw them towards the midline. So don't let me move you. So that would be a great five. And then for lateral rotators, once again, we can't isolate them, so we group them as a whole. So this time I'm just going to be placing my hand on the medial aspect of the leg, and I'm going to be trying to draw them outwards. And that would be a great five. Go. Okay, so today I'm going to be testing um, the quadricep muscles now. And because there's a group of four muscles that make up the quadriceps, it's hard to isolate, so we just group them together. So you're going to have your patient in a seated position with their arms crossed so that they don't cheat. And what you're going to do is have their legs straight with their knees slightly bent 
and you want to stabilize on the top of the thigh, and you're going to be trying to draw it, them into knee flexion. So don't let me move you. Okay, and that'd be a great pop. Okay, so now we're going to be testing iliopsoas. So what you're going to have the patient do is flex their hip about 30 degrees with some lateral rotation and 30 degrees abduction. And you're going to stabilize the opposite ASIS. And this, once again, moves in two different directions. So I'm going to be trying to abduct their leg and push them into extension. So don't let me move you. And that would be a great flap. Okay, so now I'm going to be testing your adductors. And once again, because we can't isolate the specific muscles, we test them as a group. So what I'm going to have you do is move on to your right side. And what I'm going to have you do is bring this leg up and as well as this one. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pulling away and I'm going to be pushing down with this one. Okay, so don't let me move you. And relax, and that was a great pause.